Hello again, this is Swarthy Daisy with Kinfolk Chat and welcome to another video. In this video, I wanted to go over DNA percentages. And as you see on the screen here, this chart is from Family History Fanatics. It's a YouTube channel here on YouTube, so I'll make sure to link them in the description box below. But they posted this really helpful chart on their channel in one of their videos. So I grabbed the screenshot and I wanted to share it with you all today. I'm going to try to do this justice, but again, I'm going to link the original video in the description box down below by the Family History Fanatics so you can check it out. But let's just imagine that you had a set of parents who had you at 25 years old, right? So that would give us increments of about 25 years between parents on this chart. So let's look at generations. There's one generation away, 50% your parents and then approximately 25 years. So you would get 50% of your DNA from each parent, give or take. And then looking at the grandparents row, you would get about 25% of your DNA from each grandparent. Great grandparents, 12.5%. Second great grandparents, 6.25. Third great grandparents, 3.13 fourth great grandparents 1.6 percent fifth great grandparents 0 0.8 and then 0 0.4 for sixth great grandparents now if we take a look at the dna percentages from my ancestry dna results we'll see that we can kind of determine how far away the DNA or the ancestors are from these different places based on the chart that we looked at. For example, Cameroon, Congo, and Western Bantu, 36% inherited DNA. So for me, that's about one to two generations away. So that falls right between the parent or the grandparent category so that's 20 to 50 years according to the chart of course it's not that approximate when it comes to my real situation but just for example so that would be one to two generations away and then for nigeria as you see i inherited 28 percent of that dna and that would mean one of my grandparents had pretty much nigerian dna in them so again we inherit from all different uh, ancestors but it kind of kind of put them all together and the ancestors that I descend from had Nigerian background next looking at Mali at 18% that's about three generations away Benin and Togo was about four generations away at 8% Scotland was 3% so that's five generations away and then Senegal at 3% is also five generations away. Now taking a look at Ireland at 1%. So we'll just go ahead and knock them all out. I have Ireland at 1%, Portugal at 1%, Ivory Coast and Ghana at 1%, and the Baltics at 1%. And as you see, they are about six to seven generations away. So that would be a fourth or fifth great great grandparent and that's over 150 years away from my inherited DNA. Now jumping on over to 23andMe, I wanted to use this as another example of how you can track your ancestry timeline wise. And as you see here, the results are similar to my ancestry results. Just a, a little bit different though, um, in terms of the percentages that were inherited. But at any rate, as you see, it says Ghanaian, Liberian, and Sierra Leonean. And when you click on it, it says, you most likely had a great grandparent, second great grandparent, or third great grandparent who was 100% Ghanaian, Liberian, and Sierra Leonean. And this person was likely born between 1830 and 1890. And then for Nigerian, it's pretty much the same range. 
But when we go over to Senegambian and Guinean, it says you most likely had a second great grandparent, third great grandparent, fourth great grandparent, or fifth great grandparent who was 100% Senegambian and Guinean. And this person was likely born between 1770 and 1860. And then hopping over to Angolan and Congolese, it says you most likely had a third great grandparent, fourth great grandparent, fifth great grandparent, or sixth great grandparent who was 100% Angolan and Congolese. And this person was likely born between 1740 and 1830. And then lastly here, they have British and Irish, and it says you most likely had a third great grandparent, fourth great grandparent, fifth great grandparent, sixth great grandparent, or seventh great grandparent or greater, uh, who was 100% British and Irish, and this person was likely born between 1710 and 1830. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to bring you guys a quick video to look at the inheritance that you receive from your ancestors and what percentage of it you receive. And a lot of you receive your DNA results. You might see things like Native American on there at 0.1% or 0.8% or whatever, 1%. And you always wonder like how far is that ancestry or that ancestor and now you can kind of take a look at this chart and say hmm give or take this ancestor was about six to seven generations away which would be a fourth or fifth great grandparent so that'll kind of give you some context and a way to place that ancestor on a timeline and when you do further research and see what was going on during that time in America or in whatever other country uh, your ancestor might have been in, that will kind of give you an idea of how your family got here or where they were before they got here. Or, you know, it's just so many different possibilities. But yes, this chart is very helpful. Again, it is an example but it gives you an idea, especially the percentage and relationship portion. It gives you a pretty good idea of how much of the um, ancestry you inherited from each ancestor. So that is pretty much it. Once again, this is Swarthy Daisy with Ken Folk Chat. Make sure to leave a like on this video. Make sure to comment and let me know what you think about this chart and this information. Also, make sure to subscribe if you're not and make sure to share this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.